Hey guys, it's Ruby Phoenix with the Triple Crown and today I'm going to show you how to get through Danger Maze in roughly 5 minutes. Alright, so you are going to need 500 danger coins to do this, so heads up. And we're going to do this on hard. It's probably a little bit easier on easy, but we're going to do it on hard because why not? Alright, so we are going to pick up a few things around the map as we go because I do want some points built up because I'm taking a boat. I ain't jumping across them rocks. I hate them rocks at the end. If you know what I'm talking about, you probably hate them too. Get this heart. It's worth 25 points. We're going to sell it. Watch out for the spinning thing of death. Uh, comes by roughly every three seconds. I usually count a solid one, two, three, and that's when it comes back to kill you. But get that bag of gems. And we're going to, I'm going to get, like I said, I'm going to get a few things around the map. Not too much. We're pretty much going to blow through this thing. And do not save it anywhere. If you want extra points, do not save it at Fabian. Do not save it at Malt. Never save it at Malt, by the way. The bridge is right there. And do not save it at Raymond since we're not gonna we're gonna stop spending for five seconds at the end so or for one minute not five seconds that would suck we're gonna stop spending for one minute so you don't need to save it Raymond either and just be careful going across this of course oh, it's, I hate this part But you'll see the time on my uh, phone when I recorded this said that it took me five minutes and 33 seconds so it was probably would be even faster if I hadn't stopped and got the bag of gems and the boat does slow you down a little bit it is a lot faster just to jump across the rocks but I'm not trying to break any records I'm just trying to get a lot of danger coins really quickly because I want this week's featured horse in the champions chest I really do I'm almost level 8 I'm hoping to at least get to level 8 this week do not jump over these walls do like I said do not save it at malt just get your points Activate the bridge and I'm going to show you how to stop these blocks and how to free Atticus really quickly. So we're going to jump onto this lower uh, fence and you can reach the upper part of the fence and then you can just drop down. There you go. You hit the switch. If you, I land on the switch. I've done this several times now, but if you fall off the switch, you can just jump back on it. It's no big deal. Free Atticus. Uh, the button on the left says get a free heart. That's what I want because even though a bag of gems looks really cool, a heart is worth 25 points and the bag of gems is only worth 20. So you actually get a few more points with getting the heart. Let me go talk to Caitlin. We're going to sell, I'm going to sell all of my hearts except two just in case I die, which I, I didn't this time, but just in case because it is really easy to die here at the end. And we're gonna, I'm going to talk to Daisy. I'm taking a boat. Like, if you just love your rocks and you want to jump on your rocks, go jump on your rocks. I hate those things. I'm taking the boat. I got the points. I'm taking the boat. So, even with my intro, it's only been about three and a half minutes. And we're pretty much here at the end. So, you can, like I said, you can get through this fairly quickly. I think this is one of the fastest ways to get coins in any of the games. Alright, hit the middle switch and the last one and that'll straighten out the bridge or don't do either of those things and just jump across. And once again, we're gonna get points here at Raymond. Don't worry about saving it because at this point I've only got two hearts so if I die it's not too bad to get back here. Um, and if I make it then I'd rather have my points. Try to stay to the left here at the end and now we're going to activate stop spinning for one minute so you'll have roughly one minute to get across here as fast as you can and go so if you do this on easy those spinning blades of death above your head uh, are not there so this is actually really quite simple but I think you only get a thousand maybe even less than that for doing it on easy I'm not too sure I haven't done it on easy in forever be careful on this platform because you can jump right into the stabby things and you don't want to get stabbed, do you? That doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun. Jump on this platform, stay to the left because 
you can still die here. You can literally still die here. It's actually really easy to die here if you're not paying attention. If you stop to take a selfie like I did and you get stabbed, you can get stabbed really easily in this game. And when you get off the platform, I just go stand by the tree because if you're still standing on that platform and you're and you get close to Goodwin and he starts talking to you, you cannot back out of that conversation and that platform will suck your little ass right into death. So go stand by the tree. All right, so you get to Goodwin, awesome. Here's the thing, uh, I'm not gonna go through these questions or tell you what the answers are because in my last video at the very end of it, if you just go all the way to the end, I feature all of Goodwin's questions, all of them. I've played this so many times that I'm confident that I know all of the answers to all his questions. So anyway guys, that's Danger Maze in roughly five minutes. Sorry if I talked your head off. I know it's been a while since I've been here. I had a lot of family issues going on and vacation and holidays and we all got sick. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.